Hey guys, this is Rusty, Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA. It is Friday and I'm doing these videos because sometimes they don't upload and sometimes they do and we'll see what happens. I had a viewer ask about the pictures on the wall that you see whenever I'm sitting in my sitting spot in my RV. I live in a 26-foot bunkhouse RV and that's the only spot I can put pictures. <clears throat> well... There may be another one, I'm not sure. But anyway, he asked, what, what are the pictures on my wall? And I'll tell you. Of course, I full-time RV, and I go camping in a car. If you're interested in that, check out the playlist on my homepage. I live in a 26-foot bunkhouse travel trailer in Central Texas, USA. And the picture here on the upper left is my youngest son, the only picture I have of him. That was taken when he was about, oh, I'm going to guess two years old maybe. And that, that dog behind him is a little pit bull we found. And uh, anyway, that's that picture. That's my youngest boy. And that was when we lived out in the country in a five-bedroom, three-bath home. 10 acres of land, two new, no, it was a new suburban, a new Cadillac, and a boat, okay? Got a divorce the following year, and that was the end of that relationship. He did send me a picture when he was out in California near Golden Gate Bridge when he's in his 30s, I guess, close to 30. And But I didn't have a way to print it out, not in color. But anyway, this is my oldest son, and uh, that's a picture of him graduating from college. And, uh, yeah, I was very, very proud of him for that because he stuck it out. He was driving a truck before he decided to go to college, and he did, and he, he did it. And then beneath him is his son, my grandson, who is now 18 years old and fixing to go in the Air Force possibly in January. And this thing right here in the center is the oath you take in the U.S. Peace Corps, I was in—I did that. That's in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia, and that was in 1994. And I love that oath because it applies to anybody in the military, government, or whatever. And it says, "I do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic." That's a key word, and that I will bear truth faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge my duties in the Peace Corps. So help me God, sign me. And uh, that's the country director, and that was the ambassador at that time. And that was a lot of fun. This picture here, was taken way back in the early 1950s. And that's a picture of an old man that worked on our farm. His name is Andreas. Andreas worked up for our family for I don't know how many years. That little building to his left is a Quonset hut with about quarter inch plywood walls. And he lived in that thing and slept on a little army cot with a little army blanket. He had a little desk in there. And in the center of his at Quonset Hut was a pot-bellied stove with a, a flue that went up through the middle of the building. And that was his only source of heat. Of course, no air conditioning or anything like that. But he was a good friend of mine. He died when I was about 10. I found him dead in his bed. First dead human I ever saw. Sad day for me. I couldn't believe it. But anyway, then over here, that's a birthday card my son's gave me from he was down in South America doing something and that's his graduation stuff and then this old guy here has an unusual name his name is James Bond he lives in Lano Texas and it says at 91 James Bond still enjoys a, li a life of adventure well that's my mentor people like that you know he he's not he got a he still got a smile on his face now I'm not too sure he can he, Apparently he gets around pretty good, and uh, there was a good story about him. But anyway, that's the walk through the pictures on the wall. And uh, 
that's what you see sometimes in the background of my videos are these this is my gang you know right here this is the, the whole earth i guess to me but anyway having said that that's the answer to that viewer question and thumbs up carpe diem adios bye bye buy american made when you can and uh enjoy your life take deep breaths drink plenty of water and all that stuff bye bye